Welcome back guys, Sadaki here. Um, another round of advice I guess. This topic is number 5, I think. But um, let's talk about the topic of power. What does that mean? Uh, I'm pretty sure we all know in general what the word power is, whether it's uh, kind of power or uh, this kind of power, but what do we mean uh, in a way that we can't see it kind of power? Not necessarily the big person walking around or you know people at the gym lifting up stuff what what is power exactly uh, in, in my interpretation of the word power I like to think of it as um, power of choice the amount of choices we have where um, how much choices we have in our lives equates to how much power we have and where the lack of choices or ch power of choice equates to us trying to find other ways to I guess fill up that void of lack of power and a lot of people like to go about doing that in the way that I think we all know a little bit about controlling whether it's um controlling others because you have a lack of control in your own life and thus the more people you control the more power you have because you have power over those people but in reality when you go down to the very essential part of that problem it's yourself and it's the lack of knowing yourself which equates to the lack of knowing what you have to combat your problems with in your own life. So when you don't know yourself, when you're just a compulsive liar and your whole life is a lie, or when you have just tried to muscle or force um, people to bend and fold under your own personal will, you're robbing yourself of time to learn more about yourself and thus be able to handle problems that come at you in your own personal life. and not to scapegoat it or to manipulate or deceive other people to make you have that sense of oh everything's okay you know the problem hasn't disappeared which is ridiculous and stupid but oh it's okay because I have, I have control over these people so it's fine you know or to use anger or fear or intimidation for that matter to you know gain what your mind dictates as power by controlling which is definitely not the right thing to do and not the right way to go about things because you end up making those people, even though they're too afraid psychologically at times to say something, they're thinking it most definitely along the lines of disloyalty, you know, if you die or something happens to you, yeah, they're not gonna show up over there. They're not gonna give a damn about you because what have you done for them to make them want to do that for you? You haven't. So, safer than not, I think we should avoid that road altogether. Even though that's very easily said than done because people, including myself, are lazy. We're lazy bums. And we'd much rather do the least amount of work that yields the most amount of result. So, the people who don't go by that and they don't care how much effort they put in to get good results, those are the people that end up on top. Everybody else ends up on the bottom, on the wayside. Just like the school, falling down. still summer still very hot but um i'll catch you guys later so just remember let's not deceive ourselves and not deceive other people power is not controlling others power is controlling ourselves take it step by step one at a time and i will see you guys when i see you guys on the next vlog shoots